So in this first chapter of calculus, which deals with slopes, tangents, and rate of change, we are trying to find slope of the tangent to the curve at a given point. Now, these curves, we have selected different kinds of functions so that we get used to the techniques involved with different kinds of functions. So here we have a polynomial function. And let's see how to solve and how to find slope of a tangent when a polynomial function is given to you, right? So the question here is, determine the slope of the tangent to the curve y equals to minus x squared plus 4x plus 5 at the point determined by x equals to 2. Now, we'll go with the definition of tangent, which is that at any point, you can find tangent to a curve using your difference quotient equation, which is m equals to limit of h approaching 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h. So what it means is, in particular equation given to us, this is the function y equals to minus x squared plus 4x plus 5. And the point is x equals to 2. So that is the point A, right? So A equals to 2 for us. Now if A is 2, what is f of 2? That is f of A. So let's find what is f of 2. So we'll find f of 2, that is f of A, will be, we'll substitute 2 here, right? So we get minus 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 5. Now minus 2 square is minus 4 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5. So that's what we get. That means minus 4 plus 8 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. So we get f of 2 as 9. Now what is f a plus h? To find a plus h we need to replace all these x's with a plus h, right? So let me start from here and show you what is f a plus h, and then we'll use this formula and simplify. So f a plus h, now a we know is 2, right? So I'll replace a with 2 and write 2 plus h. Now we'll replace all these x's with 2 plus h to find f 2 plus h. So it is minus 2 plus h whole square. I've seen some students making a mistake and that put they put minus inside the square thing. So that becomes a mistake, right? So it is minus is outside and x is 2 plus h. Plus 4 times 2 plus h plus, oh sorry, plus 5. That is equal to, so let's expand this. So minus of square, right? So it is 4 plus 2 times AB, which is 4H, plus H square, correct? And this gives us 4 times 2 is 8, plus 4H, plus 5. So that is our F2 plus H, right? Now this could be simplified, and let's write it down here. So it is minus 4, so let me, we'll collect all the terms together and then write it down. So we have minus 4, minus 4h, plus h square, plus 8 plus 5 is 13, so let me write 13 here, plus 4h, correct? So, so that's, that's what we get here, right? So, we'll combine further terms and get a simplified answer which is minus 4 and plus 13 is 9 plus correct so we get 9 plus here so at 9 and then minus 4 h plus 4 h is 0 okay and then we have plus h square plus h square so that is what is f2 plus h for you correct okay? now we'll find the slope using our formula which is m equals to and this method is called difference quotient right limit 
h approaches 0. f of a plus h we simplified as 9 plus h square. 9 plus h square minus f of a is 9 over h. Do you see that? Now this 9 and 9 cancel out. So we get limit h approaches 0 h square over h. So h square over h gives us limit h approaches 0 and we are left with h. Now if I plug in 0 here what do I get? I get 0. So that means that slope of the tangent to this curve at x equals to 2 is 0. So that is what we get, right? Now that is what we get. So what does it mean? It means that this parabola has a vertex at x equals to 2 and there the slope is 0, right? It's kind of like this. This is a parabola opening downwards, right? And this point is probably right there at the vertex and therefore we got a zero slope. Do you see that? That's what it is. If you want, you can check it out. So vertex normally will be at which point? Either you can do completing the squares and check it out or you can do minus b by 2a. So vertex x equals to minus b by 2a. So if you do minus b by 2a, that is minus of 4, divided by 2 times coefficient of x square, 2 times minus 1. That gives you minus 4 divided by minus 2. And that is 2. So at x equals to 2, we do have a vertex. Do you see that? So the point 2 comma 9 is your vertex. And therefore, the point 2 comma 9 is vertex. Now, I'm showing you this because at times we can have this question in a different way. And the way is, determine the vertex of the given curve. Now in that case, you need to find the slope, equate it to zero and find the value of a. Do you understand? That's like working backwards. Now the third question could be, how do you interpret your answer? Now that is the interpretation of the answer. A parabola will have slope only at a turning point, right? Do you understand? So, so that happens to be a turning point. Correct? So it's a turning point in a parabola which will give you slope of zero, remember. So these are different ways of looking into the same problem, right? So the idea here is not just to show you the technique of finding slope, but really understanding the subject and the related application problems, right? So we have many application and thinking problems, which are kind of what we just discussed. I hope that helps. Thanks and all the best.